Savannah, say hello to everyone. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. I'm Savannah, and I just wanted to share with you a few visions that I got. So, one of my visions I got, I saw Jesus riding on horses. So, j just explain to them, sweetie, when you got this vision on Tuesday night. I got this vision on Tuesday night when we were at church. I was praying in the Spirit, and then the Lord gave me a vision when my eyes were closed. And I saw Jesus riding on a horse, and there were two angels riding on a horse next to him. And then there was millions and millions of angels walking behind them. And I, then I drew this picture. So, so, so you want to explain? Just, just, put, just put your finger in point. So this is an angel with a fiery sword, and then this is Jesus on his horse. And then this is an angel holding a shield and it has the Lion of Judah on it. And then all this is the angels going, like, from, like, lots of angels coming. Wow. And what's it? Oh, that's it. And then that's an angel blowing a trumpet. And then there's two angels flying that way blowing trumpets. Wow. Glory to God. So that's the vision that, that Savannah got on Tuesday night just past that church with Jesus riding on his horse and... One angel holding the shield with the Lion of Judah on it. And another angel riding next to him and lots of angels behind him. And there's an angel there blowing a trumpet, as you can see. And uh, and Savannah, just re read the message because the Lord gave you a message and as well. The message says, the Lord gave me a message while I was um, seeing the vision. The Lord said, I am about to come down to earth with millions and millions of angels following behind me. And I am ready to capture my people and bring them to heaven forevermore. Rapture. Yeah. <laughs> Rapture, not capture. Um, oh, yeah, right. Well, glory to God. And uh, uh, about a month ago, Savannah was uh, praying in church. Um, and uh, the Lord gave her three visions uh, in one go. And uh, Savannah, darling, just share with, with yep. Um. So my first vision that I got was the rapture happening. So I saw a trumpet and lots of people going up. And did did you hear the trumpet as well, or you just saw the trumpet? I just saw the trumpet. And wow. Didn't hear it. There we go. So there's a trumpet, and as you can see, Savannah's basically when Savannah gets her visions, she draws them straight away. She loves art, and and the Lord's given her a gift of art, but she's able to draw what the Lord shows her. So there's yeah, there's one vision. Yeah. And the same night you got. And um, then after that, I got a vision of a tsunami. So there's a, Savannah drew a tsunami wave. You can see the wave that's just basically a huge wave coming up, about to crash into buildings. And, and then these little things are like people, people running away. So you can see how big the wave is compared to people. Amen. So the, there's a tsunami. Um, and, and the Lord gave Savannah that, that vision. The Lord's been speaking to me and Savannah and a lot of others about the great tsunami that's, that's coming to hit the east coast of America. Um, and, uh, yeah, he's confirmed that with me many times. And I've seen it in dreams and visions many times. And my daughter often sees it. She has open visions of it. And that night in church, the Lord gave her a vision um, of the tsunami. And the third vision she had the same night um, while praying in church. Um, I saw an earthquake, and this is it. And this big thing is um, a boulder rolling down a hill, and it's going to land on these houses. And then this um, is a building that will, like had an earthquake, cra and like it's crackly cracking up, and like piece of glasses of glass is falling out of the windows and there's people running around trying to run away from the earthquake so that's that's the vision of the great earthquake that the lord gave savannah so praise god brothers and sisters and we have a couple of scriptures to share with you as well um and uh oh savannah darling you didn't share um the fountain. Share with them the fountain. That's okay. a beautiful vision that you got. Uh, and you, you didn't share. Well, hang on. So that that vision that Savannah, oh, you, that vision that Savannah got was just on the Tuesday night past, and the 
The same night she got... I got a vision of a fountain. And then the Lord said, I am a flowing fountain that shall never run dry. And soon, very soon, when you come to heaven, you shall last forever with me in heaven. And then what about the, the same night you got the wave? Um, no, it was... Um, Jesus, the, told, the Jesus told you to draw a wave. And he said, he gave you a message about his love being like, or something about a wave. Yeah, let's, yeah um, let's see if you can find that one. I think it was behind. Yeah, yeah there's a love one. So, so should, share with them first what, what, what the Lord said to you. Um, the Lord said, a human has one heart, an octopus has three, and me, well, I love everyone, so I have thousands of hearts and more than that. I'm talking about the, the wave, sweetie. Yeah, yeah, that, that was one of them. Yeah, that, and then there's this that was another one you got on the same night. The sweetheart. Lord said, I am a strong wave that is about to pull all my people out up to heaven. I can't see, you, Mum. You're putting it in front oh, of me. Sorry. <laughs> up to heaven. Then the Lord said, Savannah, draw a big wave. So basically, um, you should hold it, sweetie. So basically, there's a wave. The Lord told Savannah to draw a big wave with love hearts in it. Yeah. yeah he and said, draw a wave with love hearts in it. And my mum and my sister had to find them. And we had to find we had to find the love hearts. But basically, in that vision, Jesus, or in that in that message, Jesus told her to draw a big wave, and um, with love hearts in it. And Jesus said to to her that I, I am about to. What was it? I am about to. Pull my people out no, no. up to heaven. So the Lord said, I am a strong wave that is about to pull my people up out to heaven. Or he's about to send a strong wave. Yeah. So glory to God. Um, whoo, Brothers and sisters, it's time to get excited because our king is coming. Acknowledge Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. Jesus died for you on the cross of Calvary. He bled and died for you, my friend. What can wash away your sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Come to Jesus today and just ask him, Lord, forgive me of my sins. Come into my heart, Lord. Fill me with your Holy Spirit and he will do it. Yep. You. The Lord just reminded Savannah, as Savannah was in prayer this morning, the Lord gave her another vision, uh, no, another a message. message. Which one? Okay. Okay. So this, this was this morning. The What's the date today? It's the 22nd, sure? the 11th. Okay, so today's the 22nd of November, 2018. And this is the message that Savannah, that the Lord gave Savannah the just this morning. The Lord said, I am coming. I am coming for those who trust and believe in me. And I am coming for those who spend time in my word and who spend time in my presence. Hallelujah. That's what the Lord gave you. No, no visions this morning? No. Okay, so um, praise God. So... Um, Please come to Jesus to, today. Get born again because time is short. Get filled with the Holy Spirit and make sure your name is written in the book of life. God wants to write your name in the book of life. And the only way he can do that is by you becoming born again and spirit filled. We need the Holy Spirit if we want to be raptured. The Holy Spirit is the same power that raised Christ to life. And if you have the Holy Spirit living inside of you as a born again believer, you too will be taken up on that day. Friends, Walking in holiness, righteousness and repentance is extremely important. A true, truly saved, born-again Christian lives a life of repentance. Repentance means coming to the Lord and just repenting. Lord, I repent. Lord, cleanse me in your blood. It, it just means coming to Him constantly, spending time in His presence. It's nothing about religion. So 1 Thessalonians 4, 13. The coming of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, we do not want you to be ignorant. ignorant about those who fall asleep or to grieve like the rest of men who have no hope. We, we believe that Jesus died and rose again, and so we believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in him. According to the Lord's own word, we tell you that we who are still alive, who are left left till the coming of the Lord, we certainly will, will certainly, will certainly not, not, not proceed. proceed those who have fallen asleep. 
For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet call of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, we who are still alive and left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage each each other with these words. Hallelujah. Do you want to just say thank you to everyone for watching? And, thank you for watching. And, uh, God bless else? you. Just to encourage them? Yeah. Jesus is, is coming soon. Believe in him and you shall go to heaven. Hallelujah.